Hey everyone, Adam here, and today we are going to talk about creating LEDs on your dashboard in SimHub. Uh, I'm not talking about the RGB LEDs that you would use via an Arduino and control those with SimHub. Um, I might do a video on that in the future, um, but right now we're going to talk about what to do when you don't have an Arduino and a strip of RGB LEDs to connect to SimHub and you just want to have some shift lights uh, on a digital display, whether it's another monitor or what have you. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into Dash Studio and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create some shift lights. And as always, I'm going to post a link to this in Google Drive so you can download these shift lights and play with them yourself. I am going to build this specifically to the Delara P217. Um, no specific reason, it's just that's what I'm going to do today. So if you got a Delara dash that you're working on, you can copy and paste and these will be good to go. If you want to modify this for another car, uh, by all means, feel free. So we know that the Delara wheel in iRacing has 10 LEDs for your RPM indicator. So what we want to do is we want to import an image. And now the nice thing is we're going to come down here. We're going to click to pick our image. If we go to the common library and we go to LEDs, set one, we've got a couple of choices here. Set two, many, many more, set three, and set four. So you, you, you've got your pick. Um, I kind of think I really like set one so we're going to go with this for our off leds now we need 10 of these but there's no way 10 of these are going to fit across a 480 pixel display so we're going to change the size of this to 48 by 48 and there we go now we can get 10 and then we're going to change the position to zero and zero Okay, now we need to copy, let's turn off the labels. We need to copy these. So we're just gonna grab this, control C, and then we're gonna put this one at zero and 49. And now we can get creative. Control C, control V, and we'll kind of line these up here. And we'll line up some more so that gives us, and these aren't perfect. I'm kind of rushing through this. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Copy, paste. And again, they're, they're a little out of whack, but you know, that's fine. Okay, so these are our off LEDs. These are going to be visible at all times. So now let's add another image. And we're going to set this one again to 48 by 48. We're going to pick our image, library, LEDs, set two. And the Delara, the first two LEDs are green. We're going to copy this and we're going to set it over top here. And then we're going to set this over the top of that one here. Now, what I want to do is I want to group all of my off LEDs. So I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to hit Control G. And then we're just going to call these off LEDs. Now I've got these two here on top. And we're going to group these two as well. So highlight again, Control G. And we're going to call these LED. Uh, one and two. Now, so instead of toggling the visibility for both of these individually, because they're grouped, we can toggle the visibility for both of them at once, since on the steering wheel for the Delara in the game, they are there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to set visibility, computed value, and this is where NCALC comes in. So we're going to open brackets, square brackets, not curly braces. RPM, we're just going to search. And we've got a lot of options here for RPM, except the one we wanted was very right here at the bottom. RPMs. So RPMs equal, and I know from just some trial and error that those first two green 
LEDs on the Delara light up at 68.50 or right about there. So now when the RPMs hit 68.50, those are going to light up. Okay, so now our next two LED three and four are red. So let's add another image into here. And again, I'm going to resize this to 48 by 48. We're going to pick our image, common library, LEDs, set to. We're going to keep things consistent. And we're going to line this up right here. So now we're going to copy this. And I know that I need three, four, five, six, and seven, and the LEDs are red. So there's three, four, five, and I'm just copying and pasting these. Six, seven. Now these first two LEDs, three and four, we are going to, again, highlight both of them. Control G, and we're gonna name them LED three and four. And we're going to set a visibility toggle for both of these, which will be a computed value. Open the brackets, RPMs, that's the one that's first highlighted. And when the RPMs equal 7300, that's when these two kick on. We're going to hit OK. In fact, one of the things we have to do is we have to toggle off these visibilities. The next two, uh, five and six, we're going to group these as well. Control G. LED 5-6, toggle our visibility, brackets, RPMs, equal 5 and 6 come on at 7600 RPM. Click OK. Now, 7 and 8, let's toggle the visibility for these, are one red and one blue. So we need to add in another image here. Again, we have to resize this to 48 by 48 to fit on our dashboard. Common library, LEDs set to two. And here's a cool blue one that I really like. Let's lay it over the top. And control C, control V. We need a couple more because these last three are blue. And now what we're going to do is we're going to group these. Again, highlight, control G. LED 7-8. All right. Visibility. Again, open brackets, RPMs. And 7... Oh, ah, I screwed up here, and this is good. Okay, we're going to cancel this. These two actually should not be grouped. So we are just going to call this one. In fact, we're going to pull both of them out of the group. We'll delete it. Uh oh, I deleted the blue one. Okay, so this one is LED7. LED7 comes on. Oh, I'm a fool. They both come on at 7,900. I just had my notes here that they're different colors. See, this is the, the beauty of me not editing those videos. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to group these again. I just film these and post them to YouTube. Visibility, computed value, brackets, RP, oh, come on, RPMs, 7,900, is that right? Now I'm second guessing myself. All right, and then these last two, group them as well, LED, 9 and 10, we will toggle visibility for these as well open our brackets rpms and these last two come on at 8200 okay so there we go so that's that's kind of it now let's say we want them to do something really cool like blink when you hit red line so now that we've got all of these set we want them all to blink in unison at red line so we're going to put all of these into another group it's kind of like a, a group section here so we're going to highlight all of them we're going to click group and we're going to say on leds and now we're going to apply a blink function to these leds so blink enabled computed value and we're going to go open brackets 
car setting RPM red line reached. This is the one you want right here. And that's it. It's a zero or one. If red line is reached equals one. In fact, we'll just put equals one because why not? There we go. We now have a complete set of 10 LEDs for a Dallara P217. It's that quick and easy. Unfortunately, I don't have iRacing up right now to show you that this will work. Um, but please download this dash from the Google Drive. Try it out. You can change the RPM values for different cars. You can ungroup the LEDs. You are free to do whatever it is you want to do with this dashboard. Um, so hopefully this video helped you understand how this works. Um, there's a there's a bunch of different ways too to do this. This is how I like to do it. Um, I tend to build the car specific dashboards. Um, so if this didn't work for you and you're still a little confused on LEDs, uh, let me know because there are a few different ways to make this happen. This is just the way I prefer to do it. You can do a more universal one um, if you were to set the LEDs to a specific percent. Um, you can apply a gradient bar to each of these LEDs and get very detailed saying that they will only appear between like one and 300 rpm and that's very low i understand but there's a lot you can do here so hopefully this is enough to get you started with building out uh, leds for your dashboard and sim hub so if this helped you please give the video a thumbs up so that the youtube algorithm can connect this video with more people uh, if it didn't and you're still lost, like I said, leave a message in the comments below. I try to stay on top of them as much as possible, and I'll get back to you with any clarification we needed. Thank you.